Okay, so here on eBay, we can see that we have our EVGA power supply it's still there. And so is the gigabyte of RAM. Uh, we're going to need an SSD, which that's also over there. Let's go here with the lowest price first. So here we have a 70, 80, 60, 90. So let's add it to cards just to see how much the price goes up. Let's see if we can find a similar item for this 960, which it doesn't look like. So 960 for two gigabytes. We could just add it to cart here just to see see the price so let me go to my cart uh, let's remove this 222 but you still have to buy the hard the ssd and the hard drive with ssd is like 20 dollars new and the hard drive is going to be like around 10 so in total it's going to be around 250 so last week would have been cheaper to buy all of this stuff so now this week we're going to go for a 300 dollars pc or maybe an, a 200 dollars pc again we'll do a 300 dollars gaming pc this week okay let's just look up desktops this and we want a tower maybe a, a mini tower so perhaps an i5 third gen fourth gen fifth sixth or seventh or eighth or ninth we might need also a i5 2600 second gen third gen maybe not the second gen fourth fifth sixth seventh i doubt we can do anything better than that but let's just look that up so here we have nothing very good i did not say i wanted an i3 so maybe here we have an i5 4550 i5 45 50, that's not right 45 70 barely a little bit better so you know i might just stay with the xeon again uh for a hundred dollars yeah i think we're just gonna stay with the xeon but we're gonna buy a better graphics card that's basically all 60 and 30 it's 90 it's basically the same but this has eight gigabytes of ram so i think this the xeon is still better so we're gonna go with the xeon again uh the power supply we already know over here power supply is 450 watts and it's 39 at best buy we put 43 over here but it's fine but what we do need now is an ssd we already know that let's just put 25 dollars like this samsung right here we'll add it to cart no thank you i don't want no plan the power supply and a graphics card so let's go with the no the power supply is already there so let's go with the a graphics card so we have 155 right now dang it's pretty good so we have around 135 dollars to spend 45 45 145 so 145 for a graphics card let's go with an r9 280x yeah these are too expensive still let's go with the gtx 780 let's check it out so that's defective as well 175 167 actually too much money for me rx 470 from china we could buy from china so this one's been used for mining maybe an r9 290 r9 290 i don't care if it's four gigabytes that card doesn't post that one's only parts only 170 so we can't afford this maybe a gtx 690 i just trying to get the best card gtx 690 a gtx 590 perhaps 250 dollars okay no these prices are ridiculous at this point uh a gtx 770 perhaps okay so here that one might see Oh, it might be too large to fit inside the case so a gtx 770 might be a good option it's around 130 this one might be pretty good r9 285 would probably be also a good option it looks like it's 100 and well there's one but the rest aren't there so so i could do an r9 285 could do the 770 they have six available so anybody looking to buy one got one right there but i'm thinking i'm going with the 770 could also do a gtx 680 they're around 132 so i'm gonna go with the gtx 770 because it's all the way up here it's almost as good as the r9 380 and the 660 that we did last week is all the way down there so what i'm gonna do is get add this to my cart so let's check our cart tell the hair so we're at 280 we could go a little bit more but the thing is graphics cards are not there's nothing better than a 770 at that price 
I mean, unless you can find a, a GTX 1060, you could do a GTX 660. Uh, 1060. Okay, that did not work. I'm not going to do 660 because there's only like one available option. That means that it's probably not going to be available by the time you guys see it. So we could try to do a 780 Ti. Nope, <laughs> that's not good either. So yeah, I think the 770 is the best option uh, compared to all of them because everything higher than that is priced really high and everything lower than that is priced almost the same and it's not as good as the 770. The 770 is the best option at this point. They have like six available. So if you're looking for a good graphics card, I suggest to do that for now. Okay, so we have our power supply. We have our CPU with our case and eight gigabytes of RAM. We also have SSD and our 770 for $280. What we're gonna do now, hard drive, that's what we need. So we need at least a 500 gigabyte hard drive. We could go with this 500 gigabyte hard drive, right? So $11. So we have about $8. We could add another stick of DDR RAM. We could do that. We could do another probably four gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. I think this is fine and we can also make an offer. So that's exactly $300 and 26 cents. We have a power supply, our Dell Precision with a uh, e, a Xeon E312 25, 8 gigabytes of RAM. Then we have a 120 gigabyte SSD, a GTX 770, a 500 gigabyte Toshiba hard drive, and another 4 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. So 270 for our parts, $30 for shipping. Now could do this or you can completely get rid of the RAM and the hard drive and the SSD to buy one I'm saying one solid state drive which is this team group SSD so if we have 258 plus 48 99 equals 306 and 99 cents if you really wanted to you could get rid of what I told you the SSD the hard drive and the RAM and just buy one solid state drive 500 gigabyte solid state drive so that way you don't have to put everything in it the thing will be cleaner too you know on the inside nice and cable managed but it'll be 306 and 99 cents so 307 around that price but if not you could just do what we did if you're looking for a $300 computer, you could get the one from last one. That's around $270 now. But I think this one might be just a little bit better. Just slightly. If you guys have any more questions, suggestions, comments, anything, leave it down in the comments below. I really appreciate everybody who's been subscribing lately to the channel. I'm like 7 subscribers away from 100. And 100 isn't a lot, but it's a lot. You know what I'm saying? So... I hope these videos help you understand the way to look through computers and check out different things or you could just look in the description and the whole list is there. So if you have any more questions, if you have a suggestion what type of build I should do next, maybe 400, maybe go back to 200. Uh, so I do appreciate everybody who's watching. I do appreciate every single follower, subscriber, like. So I hope to catch you on another video next week because that's when I'm going to upload. Well, you're going to watch this one first. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.